I like to talk about the grace to overcome today and the scripture I want to share with you is found in the book of Revelation chapter 12 verse 11 and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they love not their life unto death hallelujah the reason why jesus sent out prophecy thousands of years ago about everything we are seeing and living right now is because he want our spirit not to be afraid but to be prepared you are not scared of what you know is coming you will just prepare yourself to face what is to come so what is it that will cause you and me not to be afraid of dying those who will be able to say i lay down my life because i refuse to be silenced i lay down my life because i refuse to surrender i refuse to submit to your dictate i belong to god my body is the temple of the holy ghost it is not a property of a government it's not a property of a system it belongs to god and i refuse to surrender and to submit to you i submit myself to the holy ghost those who will position themselves and who will love god so much and the bible said they overcome him because they love not their life unto death there is a love of god to release in the church right now that will cause you to stand your ground and say no i refuse to surrender i refuse to submit i don't care what you are going to do i don't care if i lose my job i don't care if i cannot travel i don't care what is it but my god i surrender myself to the holy ghost and i follow his dictate alone it may take my life but i'm not afraid of dying they Mm. overcome him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony why because they love not their life even unto death those who will overcome in this end time will be the one totally packaged with the revelation of the grace of god some of us we do understand that we are not accepted by god because we are so good but we are good because god made us good whatsoever good that could be found in your life is the product of the grace of god without the grace of god you cannot survive one day even your faith in god cannot stand one day without the grace of god the grace of god is what keeps you the grace of god is what drawn you to him the grace of god is what empowers you to become who god wants you to be the grace of God is what gives you the ability to be sanctified and to be accepted to have an acceptable life the grace of God is that provision that God has made available before the foundation of the world for you and for me that's accessible by faith we do believe we will overcome the grace at the end time because the grace the grace has been released already he said he who called us is faithful enough to preserve us we believe in him and we access that grace grace and you are not strong because you are so strong no you are strong because the grace has been given to you to be strong you overcome because the grace has been given to you to overcome the grace of god is something that has happened already we have been healed Amen. already we have been delivered already we have been sanctified already we have been blessed already everything that god has done is in eternity and when it comes to this wall is referred in the past tense god is not sitting down and planning to save you he has saved you already god is not sitting in heaven now and planning i'm going to bless that no you have been blessed already with all the blessings in the heavenly places the plans of god for you the provision he has made for you before the foundation of the world is enough to carry you through whatsoever the enemy is doing doing against you he will not prevail if only you position yourself under that grace the grace is what god has done already amen 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 amen. that's why we worship him we praise him we surrender to him we be as excited in him why he has done it all we cannot take credit out of nothing we are blessed it is his grace we are prosper it is his grace we are sanctified it is his grace we are strong is the grace of god nothing but the grace of god we are who we are as the apostle paul said rightfully by 
the grace of God. And the last Bible verse, may the grace of God be with you. The message of the grace must be constant in your spirit. Why? Because there is a quality of the presence of God that can only stay in your life when you are constantly worshipping God by the revelation of His grace, by the revelation of what He has done already for you before you were even born. That is the kind of presence that maintains you in this end time. There is a kind of presence that you can only experience when you understand the power of his grace the provision that was made by God for you before you were even born and that's why when you understand the grace of God and you know that you have to abide in the presence of God because of his grace what is going on is you are not limited by a building God is not limited by the building and the world is about to realize that greater power is always available we cannot stop the church the church cannot be silenced in the comfort of your room in your closet there is enough grace available to download heaven on earth and to have any experience of god greater than a building can provide we are not stoppable we cannot be silenced come on <laughs> we cannot be silent and we will not be silent. Why? The grace is available. The provision to travel, the provision to navigate, the provision to go through these end times has been made available for you and for me before the foundation of the world. Nothing surprises God. Everything we are living today was written thousand years ago. It was known by God from eternity. So therefore God who loves you had already arranged all things, made everything available for you to navigate this time. Do not be afraid. Do not be scared. Ah, we watch is coming on. No, do not be afraid. The grace is available to navigate. You just need to cry out to God. Oh God, give me your grace. I cannot do without you. I cannot go through this time with my own abilities. Holy Ghost, I need more of you more of the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. The grace is available. As long as you believe you can do it yourself, forget about the grace.